हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम डॉक्टर सुमित दे एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल वेर आई अपलोडेड वीडियोस फॉर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स बीएससी बीबीए एमबीए ओके जस्ट यू गो थ्रू द वीडियो एंड ऑलरेडी हैव गिवन सम ईमेल आईडी आल्सो इफ यू कैन सी एनी पार्ट इज नॉट क्लियर टू यू प्लीज लेट मी इन्फॉर्म सो दैट आई कैन हेल्प यू टूडे I will discuss one of the most important topic from matrix that is your solve the system of linear equation by Gauss elimination method. So here I have considered one question: x plus two y plus three z is equal to six. X plus three y plus five z equal to nine, and two x. Plus five y plus z equal to one. Now try to understand how to use Gauss elimination method to solve a system of linear equation. Now try to understand this solution. <clears throat> so first you write down the given system of equation is. the given given system of equation is so what you have please write down x plus 2y plus 3z is equals to 6 x plus 3y plus 5z is equals to 9 2x plus 5y plus z is equals to 1. So this is your first step. Whatever equation you have, you write as it is. Next, you write down. Now, now we now we rewrite rewrite the system of equations. in matrix matrix form so first you create one matrix so this is your this first column will be from the coefficient of x it is coming 1 1 2 second column will be from y that is 2 3 5 third column will be from z coefficient that is 3 5 and 1 and here you may write variable x y z is equals to on the right side whatever you have 6 9 and 1 clear now i think it is clear to everyone how to get this matrix form basically it is nothing but basically it is nothing but ax equals to b so this is your a matrix this is your x column matrix and this is your b matrix okay so please make sure so this small x and this one is capital capital represents the column matrix so here i have considered cal, uh, capital x as a column matrix clear okay now next line so first step is over whatever the given system of equation you have write down second step you have to rewrite the system of equation in matrix form so how you know what is your a and what is your b and what is your capital x matrix okay now third step so please write down the the augmented a u g a m e n augmented matrix is what is your augmented matrix basically when you have a and if you combine with b that is called augmented matrix so now you know what is your a and what is your b so if i can write if i can write as a whole this is your augmented matrix that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46
six one three five nine two five one one please check basically basically up to this portion is your a and this portion is your b this is your b when you combine a and b that is called augmented matrix clear augmented matrix clear now basically what you uh, augmented matrix is nothing but your system of equation if you can write once again uh, basically your augmented matrix is nothing but your system of equation like cross from the first line you may write x plus 2y plus 3z is equals to 6 x plus 2y plus 3z equals to 6 from the second line so x plus 3y plus 5z is equals to 9 and the, from last line 2x plus 5y plus z is equals to 1 okay so basically your augmented matrix is nothing but your system of equation now we want to transform this augmented matrix into this form so what is our target our target to make it this form that is 1 2 3 6 0 a b c 0 0 d e suppose you have a question in your mind why you have set a target like this why because if i have this then we can write from here x plus 2y plus 3z is equals to 6 ay plus bz is equals to c and dz is equals to e so from line from last line it is clear to us that we can find the z value from the last line and if i get the value of z we can substitute in second equation we can find the value of y and after getting the value of y and z we can substitute in equation number one to find the value of x okay so our objective to convert the augmented matrix into this form into this form okay so this is our main target and also you know the from the name it is clear the method is gauss elimination method so uh, scientist gauss was invented this method uh, and here the elimination word is coming from here just you can check uh, in first line you have three three variables in second e uh, equation we have double variables and third equation we have only one so from here it is clear to us that we need to eliminate uh, variables one by one from equation wise first equation you should have three second equation you should have two and third equation you should have only one so that's why this method is known as gauss elimination method now try to understand how to reach at your goal so first we rewrite down so be careful about the notation this you should use arrow now five first write down your um, uh, first line fix one two three six okay so you need to calculate this number as a zero so first you write down r2 dash is equals to which row you want to change right at first right at first and by which you want to change right at last so here we want to change all row calculation based on r1 now you check the coefficient so here one is the co uh, one is associated with the r2 and one is associated with the r1 so you can exchange the number so one and one both are some uh, same number so ultimately uh, we have to write same value one one okay so now both are same sign we need to write minus so if i can subtract it already you know the calculation process so one uh, three five nine one two three six if i subtract it is coming zero one two three so please write down zero one two three okay now it is clear to everyone now we need to perform for second row okay for second row we need to write r3 dash so r3 you want to change r3 correct so first you write down r3 here then you write down r1 then you check the first element is 2 and first element for r1 is 1 
so you need to write 2 and 1 so just you exchange the number this 2 should be with r1 and 1 should be with r3 now you you can check both number are both sign are same so we need to calc uh, write minus okay now need to perform the operation so 1 with r3 that is you should multiply 1 with the r3 row that is 2 5 1 1 and you multiply 2 with r1 that is 2 4 6 12 now subtract minus 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 so it is coming 0 1 minus 5 and minus 11 please check it is coming 0 1 minus 5 and minus 11 so now you check our first target is achieved below the first element all are coming 0 so now our next objective to make it 0 okay now again we use same operation one by one so first you need to write first row and second row as it is one two three six zero one two three okay so we need to calculate we are need to transform this one as a zero again you write down r3 dash so in this process we need to which row you want to change r3 so you write here by which you want to change r2 so previous you are you have used r1 so you here you need to use r2 then you check both number are same that is 1 and 1 so you need to write 1 and 1 then you write this to check whether both are same sign or not already you know if both are same sign write minus if both are opposite sign write plus so here both are same sign you write minus okay so again you need to perform the calculation so here 0 uh, 1 minus 5 minus 11 0 1 2 3 minus 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 0 0 minus 7 minus 14 is coming 0 0 minus 7 minus 14 clear now you can see our target is achieved except first element all are 0 except second element from the second row oh, uh, here it is 0 so now, now already you have achieved this target ok next line you write down next line you write down in next line you write down now we rewrite now we again rewrite the system of equation from where you need to write so from the last matrix so already I have come I have considered here so from here you may write x plus 2y plus 3z is equals to 6 y plus 2z is equals to 3 minus 7z is equals to minus 14 so you may consider this is number 1 and this is number 2 and this is number 3 okay so you may write from from 3 what is your z is coming z is equals to 2 is it clear minus 7 uh, 40 minus 14 divided by minus 7 is coming 2 so please write down from 2 using z is equals to 2 so ultimately is coming y is equals to 3 minus 2 z ultimately is coming 3 minus 2 into 2 is equals to minus 1 is coming ultimately we have y is equals to minus 1 so here we have z equals to 1 z equals to 2 and y is equals to minus 1 next you write down uh, from 1 using a z is equals to 2 and and y is equals to minus 1 so ultimately it is coming x is equals to 6 minus 6 minus 2y minus 3z so ultimately it is coming 6 minus 
टू इंटू माइनस वन माइनस थ्री इंटू टू सो अल्टीमेटली इट इज कमिंग प्लीज चेक हाउ मच इज कमिंग सिक्स माइनस सिक्स इट इज कमिंग जीरो एंड इज कमिंग टू प्लीज चेक प्लीज चेक प्लीज चेक सो अल्टीमेटली यू हैव एक्स इज इक टू टू प्लीज चेक वेद इट इज कमिंग और नॉट क्लियर ओके सो नाउ यू हैव एक्स इज इक टू टू वाई इज इक टू माइनस वन एंड जेड इक्व टू टू सो ओनली वन लाइन इज लेफ्ट प्लीज राइट डाउन द रिक्वायर्ड रिक्वायर्ड द रिक्वायर्ड सॉल्यूशन इज एक्स इज इक टू टू वाई इज इक टू माइनस वन जेड इज इक टू टू ओके अगेन सपोज आफ्टर गेटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वाई एंड जेड यू नीड टू सब्सिट वैल्यू in any one of the equation to test it whether it is coming or not so if i can consider from here one equation suppose if i can consider one equation uh, please check now let's see whether it is coming or not or always you so you need to verify it whether it is coming or satisfy or not so if i can write uh, left hand side part that is your x plus 2i plus 3z uh, x equals to 2 plus 2 into minus 1 Uh, plus three uh, into two. Ultimately, it's coming two minus two zero and six. So, right, please check your right hand side is coming. So, my advice to all of you: always you have to verify it after getting the result. Just you have to verify. Arbitrarily, you may consider. Suppose here I have considered first equation, so you may consider second or third. Okay. So, this is all about the Gauss elimination method. This is all about the Gauss elimination. just you need to follow the step by step uh, first step if i can recapitulate this first step you rewrite the system of equation second step is all about the um, uh, we need to rewrite uh, as a matrix form okay matrix form third equation so you create augmented matrix and fix up a target then using row operation so we can reach there okay suppose you have a question in your mind Sir, can I use uh, any uh, any other process? Other process means row operation, column operation, mix or only column? Yes, you can. But for me, we want to use row operation only here. Okay. So after reaching this place, we can rewrite the system of equation into this form. So this is our augmented matrix. So here we have three equations. Now you need to uh, simplify from the last, that is from third equation. so from z we can calculate after getting the z value you substitute in second equation to find the y and then you substitute the y and z value in equation number 1 to find the value of x so this is all about the gauss elimination method clear is it clear to all of you okay thank you uh, please do subscribe my channel those who are you uh, watching our uh, youtube video please do subscribe to motivesh to <laughs> encourage me okay so and please don't uh, forget to write comments because comments is very very important if anything uh, part is lacking uh, from here so that i can uh, improve myself because everyone uh, are basically everyone is a uh, student okay so i'm also a student maybe you may consider as a senior student <laughs> okay so please do subscribe my channel as well as please write some comments if it is uh, good for you so please write and if it is not then also write so that i can rectify okay thank you thank you everyone for watching my youtube channel and this video thank you